Welcome to another video from Guitar School Live. In this video, I'll show you how to set up the Mvave Chocolate MIDI Foot Controller to control the Helix Native plugin in Studio One. Let's get started. To begin, you'll need to download the Cube Suite Editor to your desktop from the Cubave website. Go to the link in the description and follow the download instructions. Installation is simple, so there is no need to cover it in this video. In order to control the Helix Native plugin in Studio One, with the Chocolate MIDI Foot Controller, we'll use a combination of long and short presses. We'll use long presses to change presets, and short presses to toggle effects. Let's begin programming the chocolate controller in the Cube Suite editor. When you launch the Cube Suite program on your desktop, you'll be presented with this screen. To set up the chocolate to control Helix Native, go to the Mode Selection tab and select Advanced Custom Mode. Next, click Foot Switch A and select Step Short or Step Long. You'll see a second box open labeled Bank B. When you step on a pedal, whatever you program in Bank A, will be executed when you step on the pedal and release it. Whatever you program in Bank B will be executed when you step on the pedal and hold it. Let's begin by setting up Pedal A. Go to Bank A, double click the entry and select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select Custom MIDI Code. In the Custom MIDI Code box, we'll enter the following hex code. B0 0 1 0 0 B0 0 1 7F Now go to Bank B and double click the entry. If Bank B is empty, click the Add button. Select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select Custom MIDI Code. In the Custom MIDI Code box, enter hex code. B0 0 5 0 0 B0 0 5 7F Next we'll set up pedal B. Select step short or step long. Go to bank A, double click the entry and select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select custom MIDI code. In the custom MIDI code box we'll enter hex code. B0 0 2 0 0 B0 0 2 7 F Now go to bank B and double click the entry. Select your MIDI channel. Select custom MIDI code. Enter hex code. B0 0 6 0 0 B0 0 6 7 F Now click foot switch C. Select step short or step long. Go to bank A, double click the entry and select your MIDI channel. Select custom MIDI code. Enter hex code. B0 0 3 0 0 B0 0 3 7F Now go to bank B and double click the entry. Select your MIDI channel. Select custom MIDI code. Enter hex code. B0 0 7 0 0 B0 0 7 7F Finally, click foot switch D. Select step short or step long. Go to bank A, double click the entry and select your MIDI channel. Select custom MIDI code. Enter hex code. B0 0 4 0 0 B0 0 4 7 F Now go to bank B and double click the entry. Select your MIDI channel. Select custom MIDI code. Enter hex code. B0 0 8 0 0 B0 0 
7F. To set up the expression pedal, select expression pedal and click interface. Click add. Double click the entry and enter 11 for data. The loosened value is the value of the pedal when it is fully open. Enter 127. The step on value is the value of the pedal when it is fully closed. Enter 0. Click OK. Close the interface and exit the editor. You're now done programming the controller. Let's set up Studio 1. Before we begin, we must set up the chocolate controller in Studio 1. In the menu, go to Studio 1. Options. And click the External Devices tab. Click Add. Select New Control Surface. Enter Helix Chocolate as the device model and the device name. For Receive From and Send To, enter USB MIDI and click OK. Click OK. Now that Studio One is set to receive data from the Chocolate Controller, let's set up the Helix Native plugin. Select a preset in Helix Native. Select Snapshot 1. Select the Scene view and click Add Scene. Name the scene and click OK. Select another preset in Helix Native. Select Snapshot 2. Click Add Scene. Name the scene and click OK. Select another preset. Select Snapshot 3. Click Add Scene. Name the scene and click OK. Finally, select a preset. Select Snapshot 4. Click Add Scene. Name the scene and click OK. Now go to the Helix Native plugin. Click the drop down arrow next to the cog icon and select Helix Chocolate. Click the cog icon so the parameter bar is displayed. Click the drop down arrow in the parameter bar and select Helix Chocolate. The external devices window will open with the chocolate tab displayed. Click MIDI Learn and single press each pedal on the controller. You'll see a knob appear for each pedal you've pressed. Now long press each pedal on the controller. Again, you'll see a knob appear for each of the long presses. If you have an expression pedal connected, you can move the pedal and another knob will appear. After all of the pedals have been MIDI learned, click the arrow and select button, press slash release on each of the pedals to change them from knobs to buttons. You'll leave the control for the expression pedal as a knob. Deactivate MIDI Learn. Right click on Control 5 and select Assign Command. Type Scene in the search box and choose Select Scene 1. Next, right click on Control 6 and select Assign Command. Type Scene in the search box and choose Select Scene 2. Right click on Control 7 and select Assign Command. Type Scene in the search box and choose Select Scene 3. Finally, right click on Control 8 and select Assign Command. Type Scene in the search box and choose Select Scene 4. 
Now if you long press the pedals on the controller, your presets will change. Now let's configure the short press function to toggle effects along with setting up the expression pedal. In this example, we'll toggle the wah pedal and set the expression pedal to control it. Select the wah effect, then right-click the position parameter and select Automation Assign. Knob 1. Drag the hand icon to Control 9. Right-click on the wah and select Automation Bypass. Switch 1. Drag the hand icon to control one. Finally, select scene one, right click, and select update scene to save your configuration. Now when you short step pedal one, the walk control will toggle. When you step on the expression pedal, the parameter will activate. Repeat the process for your choice of effects for the remaining pedals. Before we end, if you would like to see more videos like this, hit like, then click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you will be notified when new content is released. From all of us at Guitar School Live, we would like to thank you for watching.